I've mentioned so many times that nowadays it's important to know how to work in a team, how to operate in a team and make a team work for us. However, it is also possible to make yourself shine as part of that team in a way that make yourself more memorable for other people to understand you better and to accept you better. And this all boils down to one word, authenticity. You want people around you, within the team, with your environment, within your social circle or work, to regard you as an authentic person. This is the idea of being true to yourself. This is the idea of appearing as you are, rather than trying to fit in into other people's criteria. And I have to say here that being true to yourself does not necessarily mean disregarding any sort of social norms or feedback from others. But being authentic, being true to yourself, simply means behaving in a way that you usually behave, rather than having your stage face. First of all, being authentic makes you more recognizable as a character. Yes, you would be recognized perhaps with your shortcomings, but also your advantages. So the only way to make your advantages visible is to show the whole package, show your personalities, show the whole personality, the whole character you got. So this is very, very much a mistake that newbies in an organization do. They try to be perceived in a specific way. They try to imagine that if they behave in a very strict and formal way, people will develop authority for them. They can get some sort of recognition. Most often, if you behave in this way, people will perceive you as somebody with a dry personality or personality that they cannot even read, or they may even misread your personality in a completely different way, which influences the way they treat you or the way they communicate with you. Making mistakes while communicating is perfectly fine, or saying something that may in some context be considered inappropriate would be regarded it's okay because they would know that you don't mean it because you've actually shown your character in advance. Versus if you pretend to be a very strict person that measures their words all the time, then when you say something, let's say a mistake, then they will actually think, oh, he or she really means it. Because so far he has only shown us how consistent and structured the discourse of this person actually is. Being authentic also allows you to capture the support of others. Authenticity brings a certain level of energy which is radiated to the people around you. So being authentic makes you more energetic because trying to fake your image or your persona to fit the context of a specific social setting is draining and you find yourself being out of energy to perform the actual duties or requirements that the job has for you. So in a way, the best thing you can do is to be yourself. And this starts with the actual interview for the job. And this continues when it comes to the way you communicate with other people. And I know most of you have heard the idea that if you'd like to fit in a given setting, you need to behave like the people who are already in that setting. And I would say this is actually a valid point, but we should not take this to an extreme. When we communicate with other people, there should be a lot about something that comes from us, something that's unique about us. And of course, we can adopt the sort of language and phrases and keywords that other people use to make ourselves understood in a better way, but we should not try to really shape in a completely different way our character in order to communicate with these people, because it will show. I've been in a position of sitting in panels, employing people, and we always can say which person was pretending or trying to fit in too hard and which person was natural. In the end of the day, people within teams, they like to work with, with humans who can then, they can perhaps have a drink with or be friends with. So being authentic is something that will help you in the long run. Don't waste time with trying to pretend 
to be somebody you are not. This is going to bring you more negatives than benefits. I hope you enjoyed this short video and let's catch up in the next one.